I really have made a mess of things. Incendio! Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Accio! Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Ravenia. Book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary.
Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me! You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm... Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Or a skeleton. I'm on the right track. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. This stairwell looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? There's a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. I choose garlic. Underneath Find the... anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round might yield anything interesting. <laughs> <laughs> 